How about a couple of quick facts? A uh, couple of quick facts here. Jerry Lewis. We have to talk about Jerry Lewis because it's hey, just later. like, why is he even in the movie? <laughs> I don't but know. Here's the reason. Jerry Lewis joined the project at the insistence of Nicolas Cage um, because the two of them have been friends for years. And, oh, uh, uh, you know, they're, I think they're neighbors, actually, because uh, Nick Cage lives in Las Vegas. Jerry Lewis did uh, live in Las Vegas, and I think they ended up hanging out a lot, probably because wow. Nick Cage was, you know, he's a big fan of that yeah. that era of film. And I could see Nick Cage looking up to Jerry Lewis, especially like yeah. Jerry Lewis has or had range um, as an actor. Um <clears throat> very divisive person outside of cinema, but the dude had range. Yeah. Um, Lewis only has one minute of screen time in this movie, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was sad. I think yeah. you could kind of tell he was on the tail end of his life in that yeah. film. He, he yeah. just seemed... <laughs> He seemed very out brittle. of it just like the uh, character. Yes, just like <laughs> yeah. the character, yeah. I don't know if that was intentional, like it was the character supposed to be out of it, or that's just what they got out of Jerry. Cause <laughs> it's so funny rough. when he like opens the door. Jesus <laughs> Christ, Jesus Christ. Christ. Jimmy, your, your friend is here. It's a fucking <laughs> hobbit. <laughs> it's that guy from the Lord yeah. of the Rings. Where's, where's Gandalf, <laughs> you fuck? It really funny. I really felt like as I was watching it, I was like, He's just in this because Nick Cage wanted to work with him, and they probably yeah. just brought him down for like one yeah. night of shooting and filmed two scenes, and that was it. I <laughs> would, you know, they put used money him for forty five yeah. minutes. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. <clears throat> Which, if they, you know, did they actually film it in Vegas? Yep. yep. Oh yeah. So, yeah. They probably just were like, "Hey, drive on over. We'll film it. Maybe we'll yeah. just film it at your house." <laughs> I uh, <clears throat> didn't talk about it in the quick facts, but I think this is like the fifth movie that Nick Cage has done in Las Vegas. <laughs> and he's talked about it a lot because he lives there, you know. Yeah. Um, he's talked about how every time out, he's had good luck. And uh, I feel, you know, this movie didn't do well, but I feel like it was a good movie. So yeah. you can kind of say that that streak continued. But like leaving yeah. Las Vegas, uh, honeymoon in Vegas. Let's see. Uh, Con Air was also there. Um, fuck, I could, I'm blanking on the other ones. But then The Trust, I think there's like five or six total uh <clears throat> movies that he's done in las vegas and he he said in the uh behind the scenes that he he's always had great things happen uh when he shoots in vegas so, unfortunately he hasn't shot there since 2016 but hopefully hopefully he'll get another maybe we'll do a uh, well we can't do a leaving las vegas sequel <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> spoilers but anyways <laughs> i don't know if they could do a face-off sequel yeah, let's do it in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, they'll bring back the guy. <clears throat> uh, anyways. <laughs> Police uniforms, badges, insignia, and squad cars were created for a non-existent LVPD, um, actual Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, is known as LVMPD or Metro. Um, so... You know, you, I guess they kind of got away with the fact that every cop in this movie is just a bumbling idiot <laughs> by doing that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sure Las Vegas Police Department or Metro would would not be super like, stoked. <laughs> keep that shit in Reno. <laughs> <laughs> Their police force is a joke. Yeah. I'll tell you, uh, Vegas cops are, are no joke. They're, 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 they've seen some shit. <laughs> Sure, yeah, every CSI day Vegas, is crazy. Real popular. <laughs> For like 10 years. Uh, this is a fun fact. During the filming of the movie, the crew discovered a body in the yard where they were shooting. <laughs> yeah, CSI Vegas. <laughs> which I wonder which, which y uh, yard they were talking <laughs> yeah. about. Oh, dude, there's an apartment complex. That apartment yeah, complex for that sure. That might have been, yeah. I'm telling you, that's like in one of the <laughs> shady parts of Vegas. Yeah, <laughs> which um, um, the writers actually found that the that setting the gritty cop story in Las Vegas actually worked really well by taking advantage <laughs> of the contrast between the glitz of the Las Vegas Strip and the seedier neighborhoods, which there are some really shitty neighbors. If you've been to Vegas, if you yeah. wander off Strip, there's some some scary places just yeah, drive, right drive off north. of the strip. <laughs> yeah. Try north from the strip by the stratosphere. It gets a little sketchy. 
Yeah, by pawn, uh, by pawn Stars, that fucking pawn shop, dude. That place yeah. is in the middle of uh, some really rough uh, yeah. areas. The place that uh, Bobo <laughs> picks him up in the movie. Um, <laughs> that, that gift shop. That gift shop is <laughs> right next to the stratosphere, like a block yeah. or two down the, from the it. The thing is huge, too. Yeah. I don't, I don't think they did it justice. That place is fucking huge. <laughs> They uh when they in the behind the scenes they talked about like going and finding those old style Vegas you know shots they wanted everything to look kind of like it was shot in the sixties or something like that yeah kind of yeah. give that vibe to that it feel, yeah I got that feeling because they go to an old hotel casino down in in Fremont for that mm-hmm. shot where he's going in to like spy on the waiter <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, this is another funny one. Helicopters filming an Imagine Dragons concert <laughs> buzzed almost continuously above one Las Vegas location and ruined several of their audio takes. Uh. <clears throat> I'm wondering which location that was. Uh, but, you know, the little apartment that they were in was was supposed to be like fairly close to the strip there. So yeah. maybe it was there. I don't Give know. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, that's hilarious. One of the things I did notice when we were talking about shooting is the opening shot of the drone footage flying through the the Ferris wheel was sped up, and it really took me out of it. Like, <laughs> if you look at the cars, you can see them moving a lot faster mm-hmm. than they're supposed to be. Yeah. Like, I mean, you got to do what you got to do to get the, the shot, but then some of the neon signs were, like, blinking really fast yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Just, you could tell they sped it up. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the chaos of Vegas, baby. I guess, yeah. You could always explain those things away. Like, oh, we wanted to show the frenetic uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> feeling of Vegas. And then the final quick fact is no gambling is shown in this film whatsoever, um, which is kind of interesting. Immoral. A, a movie <laughs> completely set in Vegas, and it's a crime story. They did get their allotted uh, Subway style shot on the Las Vegas <laughs> monorail that goes. The, I know, I saw that. I was like, oh, goes cool. from like the the convention Hilton center down to the convention to the center. End. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, cool. No, if you haven't been to Vegas, you're gonna think, oh man, they got a monorail. Yeah, just goes I from was the hotel thinking that. Center. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, is this like the Disney shuttle? <laughs> like, pretty much, no, it just <laughs> goes to one location. Some of the hotels do have a. a tram that runs through them but you're not going up and down the strip on one tram <laughs> you're, you're hotel hopping it's not That's, a commuter thing yeah usually. it's not a commuter no. thing the spot that they filmed in is actually the longest stretch of that without getting to a casino so <laughs> and it's the most like dead area of the whole monorail <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah it's just sad underneath it's just a bunch <laughs> of empty space <laughs> 